welcome to UGC lecture series linear integrated circuits. In this lecture we are going to discuss about the high pass filter, its transfer function and frequency response and second order filters whose transfer function and design can be explained. The first order high pass filter is an electronic filter that electric filter that passes the signals with the frequency higher than a certain cutoff frequency and attenuates signals with frequencies lower than the cutoff frequency. Here the cutoff frequency is represented as lower cutoff frequency. Since it is a high pass filter which has lower cutoff frequency, if the design does not have uh, a uh, type of filter and uh, the lower cutoff frequency is given then we have to design it for a high pass filter. The amount of attenuation for each frequency depends on the filter design and we have uh, seen the higher uh, lower uh, low pass filter in the previous lecture. So, the difference between the low pass and the high pass filter is in the circuit is the resistor and the capacitor is interchanged and the voltage across the resistor will be the input of the amplifier and um, the amplifier is always used in the non used as a non inverting amplifier the feedback resistor is R2 and the input resistor is R1 and the gain of the amplifier is 1 plus R2 by R1. And here how the circuit is uh, like this why the capacitor is in series arm and the resistor is in parallel arm. So, we know that the frequency is uh, inversely propor proportional to the reactance, the capacitive reactance F is inversely proportional to Xc and if F is very high and the Xc will be reduced, if Xc is reduced then the capacitor in the circuit will be, uh, will be shorted it is a short circuit. So, once the signal is given, the higher frequency signal is given, what happens to the capacitor? Uh, according to the relationship between the frequency and the capacitive uh, reactance, the capacitor will be a short circuit for high frequencies. So, if it is a short circuit, then whatever the signal is given at the input terminal will be seen across the resistor since you have uh, uh, simply a connection across the capacitor here if it is a short circuit. And so, the voltage present at the input signal is seen across the resistor for high frequencies. So, what is the output voltage? You can say it is V naught is equal to V i. And if the frequency is reduced, if, uh, if uh, low frequency signals are given, then the capacitive reactance is increased. It is high. If it is high, the capacitor in the circuit will be an open circuit. So, here if the frequency is very low, the input frequency is very low here, the capacitor will be treated as an open circuit and there is no connection between the input and the resistor. So, the voltage across the resistor will be 0 here, the output now we can say it is 0. So, in the, uh, since this is the explanation of the high pass filter, the capacitor must be in the series ohm and the resistor must be in the shunt ohm for a high pass filter and these are reversed for the low pass filter we have discussed in the previous lecture. And now we have to calculate what is the voltage at this node say this is V A this node it is V A and what is the output of the filter it is the gain into V A the output of the filter will be gain it is represented as A into V A and what is V A it is the voltage across the resistor in the circuit this voltage we have to calculate using the potential divider rule. V in into R3, this is the input voltage V i into R3. Since uh, instead of uh, V in I put it as V i simply and I make this R3 as R simply V in V i in, uh, into R divided by this total, total is R plus uh, uh, instead of C1 I take it as C simply. So, R plus 1 by C s it is R plus 1 by C s. This is simplified as V i into R divided by 1 plus R C s if you take LCM divided by C s I am taking into the numerator in the equation. So, this is the V i. So, what is V O that is the output of the filter it is the gain into V A, V A is V I R C S divided by 1 plus R C S. 
the equation will be take this vi uh, to the left hand side and uh, make this as uh, in terms of s you have a r c j omega is 2 pi f. So, put s is equal to j omega omega is equal to 2 pi f divided by 1 plus r c j omega is 2 pi f. Now, if you calculate okay, take this as h of j omega if you calculate the mod value h of j omega which uh, which is the transfer function of the filter h of j omega is uh, if you take the modulus value of h of j omega j will not be present in the equation a and keep this f as such and the remaining terms as 1 by f here it is l. Since we are uh, calculating it for the high pass filter we have to represent the cutoff frequency as f l divided by 1 plus f by f l actually this is root of the real term square it is 1 square plus the imaginary term square it is f by f l the whole square. So, this is the transfer function of the high pass filter. Now, we have to give some values for the frequency of the input signal and we draw the frequency response of the high pass filter simultaneously. So, we know that frequency is taken along the x axis and gain along the gain of the filter in d b along the y axis and the transfer function h simply I make it as uh, modulus h is represented as a into f by f l divided by root of 1 plus f by f l the whole square. Uh, for the case 1 if f is less than less than f l in this formula if you substitute a lower value for the input frequency f less than this f l the lower cutoff frequency. So, this this value will become very low this value is also become very low and uh, if a lower value is multiplied with the gain of the filter this value is also be uh, will be reduced say for example, if this uh, frequency is in uh, is a fractional portion then if a fractional part is multiplied with the gain then the gain will also be a fractional part. So, the gain is reduced. So, I can write it as uh, modulus of h that is the transfer function will be reduced and will be low actually and if f is equal to f l what happens if f is equal to f l both will get cancelled here and here uh, you have a by root 2 this h is equal to a by root 2. Now, consider this is the uh, lower cutoff frequency and here you have the value as a by root 2 here. Previously for the lower values of the frequency from here before this lower cutoff frequency from 0 the frequency the transfer function of the filter is reduced or it is low you can say it is low then it is actually drawn like this. If it touches the if the frequency is equal to the lower cutoff frequency then the gain is the transfer function of the filter is actually a by root 2. For the third case if f is greater than f l you substitute the value of f a greater value of f here then here this one is neglected you have square root of some value here the same value will be there if you make uh, square root then this term this term will get cancelled you will have only a the transfer function will become a. So, if the frequency is higher then you have a constant value of a. So, this is the minus 3 dB line when the frequency of the input signal is equal to the lower cutoff frequency minus 3 dB this is your 
the maximum value of the gain. So, this is the practical response of the high pass filter. If the frequency is low, then it is actually it has to stop the signal instead it allows some signals and it is the gain is increasing and if the frequency of the input signal is just equal to the lower cutoff frequency then the gain of the filter is a by root 2 and if it is greater than this f l it is passing the signal it is the maximum gain of the amplifier a. So, it is passing the signal. So, this is actually the pass band this is pass band, this is stop band. Now, as I said in the low, uh, low pass filter, if we want to make this curve as uh, similar to the ideal response, then we have to have a sharp transition at the uh, cutoff frequency. In that case, this uh, increased rate must be uh, again increased by adding the uh, another order of the filter. So, if you go for a second order filter then in the circuit you have another set of this R and C here. So, if you have another uh, set then the increase rate will be increased. So, here this uh, for a, a single order high pass filter the increase rate is plus 20 dB per decade and if it is a second order high pass filter it is another plus 20 dB per decade. So, you have a 40 dB per decade. So, if the increase rate is very high then it is uh, more or less equal to the ideal response of the filter. This is the same uh, graph for the frequency response of the uh, high pass filter HPF stands for the high pass filter. Initially the uh, frequency the response is increasing at, at the at the lower cutoff frequency the response is actually th minus 3 dB of the maximum value and after this cutoff frequency the gain is the maximum value the uh, gain of the amplifier. And next topic we are uh, going to discuss about the second order low pass filter. So, previously we have discussed the first order low pass and first order high pass filter and uh, where the frequency response has the decreasing and increasing rate as uh, minus 20 dB per decade and plus 20 dB per decade respectively for the low pass and high pass filters. Now, if you add another order in the filter circuit, what happens in the frequency response and what happens to the transfer function we are going to discuss. So, as with the passive filter, a first order low pass filter can be converted into a second order low pass filter simply by using an additional RC network in the input path. Uh, the frequency response of the second order low pass filter is identical to that of the first order type except that the stop band roll off will be twice the first order filters at plus uh, 40 dB per decade or if it is expressed in octave it is plus 12 dB per octave. Therefore, the design steps required for of the second order low pass filter are the same. Second order low pass filter here we have uh, two setups here R and C another uh, R and C pair here there are two setups at the input stage. Uh, the simply we can say the gain of the amplifier as 1 plus R 2 by R 1 since it is connected in a non inverting configuration. The feedback resistor is represented as R 2 and the input resistance is R 1. So, it is 1 plus R 2 by R 1 and we are going to derive the frequency uh, cut off frequency as 1 by 2 pi root of the resistors these resistors R3, R4 and these capacitors C1 and C2. So, once these resistors and the, the resistors uh, response for the responsible for the gain of the amplifier is calculated then we have uh, uh, give the circuit for the second order low pass filter. And this is for the second order high pass filter just the combination is reversed instead of the resistor here the capacitors are uh, connected and instead of the capacitor across the R3 we have connected the resistance and instead of a capacitance uh, in the place of R4 we have connected a resistor here. So, just we have reversed the passive components in the filter stage to in order to get the high pass filter. The remaining connections the feedback network the are one and the same in the non inverting configuration of the operational amplifier. 
uh, here also the gain of the operational amplifier is 1 plus the feedback resistor divided by the input resistor and the frequency cutoff frequency is also the same it is 1 by 2 pi root of R3 or 4 into C1, C2 the filter stage components. Uh, this uh, table uh, we will be discussing during the derivation of the second order filter response. Mm, this is actually the re filter response for different damping coefficients. So, here uh, this response is the the numbers are representing the damping factors say this is 0 0.5, 0 0.766, 0 0.866 these are the lower damping factors. So, uh, damping factor is actually the unitless uh, factor which says the oscillations of an uh, of a system which is breaking down after some disturbance. So, this uh, the damping factors are here uh, very low if the damping factor is low then it has a ripple present at the pause band the response the frequency response has ripples present at the pause band if it is still low say it is 0.5 it is the lowest value here if it is still low then you have an oscillation at the uh, pause band so uh, and for uh, uh, these are the filter types the Shebaseyev Butterworth Bessel so here the damping factor for uh, Shebaseyev uh, filter is 1.06 for which the, the response is actually uh, not flat and uh, you, it has a little ripple present at the uh, pause band and for Butterworth it is 1.414 is the damping ratio. Here the response is flat for the pause band and it is decreasing uh, uh, in the stop band. This Bessel has a flat response, but it is uh, it is uh, decreasing in the the response is decreasing in the pause band itself. So we are going to talking about we are going to take this uh, Butterworth filter. Normally, all the audio filters are the Butterworth filter because it has a flat pause band response in the frequency response of the filter. So, the damping factor for the Butterworth is 1.414 we have to remember this damping factor while designing the filter. Now, we are going to design uh, a common second order filter it is not going to be a low pass or a um, high pass filter first we will derive the second order filter uh, transfer function. So, for which I am uh, uh, consider this circuit operational amplifier in the non-inverting mode. So, I have to give my input to the non-inverting terminal of the op amp here. Here there is a passive component since I am uh, going to derive a common transfer function for a, for a second order system. I have taken it as a value y1, y2, here y3, here y4 this is connected to the output of the operational amplifier and here input is given the resistor R1 and Rf is given ok. So, this is the common second order filter. So, I have not connected any resistor or a capacitor in the place of this y1, y2, y3, y4 a common passive components are taken and designated uh, represented as y1, y2, y3, y4. We can replace these uh, components as uh, y1, y2 as r 1 by r since it is y it is uh, we have to uh, calculate uh, y is equal to 1 by r and y3 y4 can be taken as cs later for the low pass filter now consider this as va voltage this node voltage and this as vb node voltage right so v uh, v not is actually vb into the gain. So, Vb can be 
written as V naught by A. So, for this circuit apply KCL at node A. This is the node A and this is the node B. Uh, so, that the voltage at the node A is represented as V A and uh, node B is represented as V B. Now, if you want to apply KCL at node A, the current consider this current as Y 1 towards the node here from the output it is given to the node A. So, it is also towards the node I 3 and I 2 is away from the node. So, I 1 plus I 3 these are the currents towards the node and I 2 is the current away from the node. So, KCL uh, represents the sum of the currents flowing towards the node is equal to the sum of the current flowing away from the node. Now, I 1 is replaced by V i minus V a by it is a, since it is Y 1 it is not R 1 I am multiplying it with Y 1 plus I 3 is replaced by V naught minus V a into Y 2 is equal to what is I 2? It is the current from V A minus B B into Y 2. So, this is the current and here I 3 is actually V naught minus V A into Y 3. Now, simplify this V i uh, Y 1 minus V a Y 1 plus V o V out Y 3 minus V a Y 3 is equal to V a Y 2 minus V b Y 2. Here if I take this V i Y 1 in the left hand side and V a as common all these terms to the right hand side and I am taking V a as common y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 minus if I bring this to the right hand side it is v naught y 3 minus v b y 2 and we know that v b is later substituted as v naught by a and now at k c l at b gives you KCL at B gives you this current I 2 which is flowing towards the node is equal to I 4 which is away from the node. So, this gives V A minus actually this node minus this node this is the current flowing from this node to this node. So, the voltage V A minus V B into this Y 2 is equal to I 4 is V B Y 4. So, this equation can be simplified as V A you have to calculate V A from here ok V A Y 2 is equal to V B if you take out it is Y 2 plus Y 4 and so V A will be equal to V B into Y 2 plus y 4 by y 2. So, now you substitute this V A in the previous equation take this V A as equation number 2 this equation is taken as number 1. So, substitute the equation 2 in 1 you have V i y 1 is equal to V a V i y 1 is equal to V a from here you have to take the equation V b by y 2 into y 2 plus y 4 V b into y 2 plus y 4 divided by y 2 into so V a you have substituted 
the remaining terms y1, y2, y3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 minus what are the remaining terms here y v0 y3 minus vb y2 v0 y3 minus vb you can replace as v0 by a. So, v0 by a into y2. So, now you simplify this vb also you can make it as v0 by a into y2 plus y4 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by y2 minus v0 y3 minus v0 by a y2. Now, if you take this v0 from all the terms out v0 by a y2 if these values are taken out then you have y1 y2 plus y2 square plus y2 y3 plus y1 y4 plus y2 y4 plus y3 y4 minus v0 we have taken out and we have taken this a y2 1 by a y2. So, if you multiply here it is a into y2 y3. Similarly, for the next term v0 by a is taken out you have only y2 square. So, here minus y2 square plus y2 square will get cancelled out and you have y2 y3 two terms and you have y4 as common here. So, this equation will now become a y2 into y1 y2 plus if you take this y2 y3 out you have 1 minus a plus if you take this y4 out you have y1 plus y2 plus y3. From this you can calculate you have v i in the left hand side and v naught in the right hand side. So, from this you can calculate v o by v in this is want this is what we have to calculate v out by v in. So, a y 1 y 2 divided by this the whole term y 1 y 2 plus y 2 y 3 into 1 minus a 1 minus a plus y 4 into y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3. So, this is the transfer function of the second order filter and if we put y 1 y 2 as 1 by r and uh, y 3 y 4 as c s. What will happen the, the filter will become now if this y 1 y 2 is 1 by r and this uh, y 3 y 4 will c s will be c s then the circuit will now become the second order low pass filter we know that for the low pass filter it is the resistor will be in the series ohm and the capacitor will be in the shunt ohm. So, now if we replace uh, this y 1 y 2 as 1 by r and y 3 y 4 as uh, C s then it will be the low pass filters transfer function. In the next class we can discuss about the low pass filters transfer function we derive it and we uh, uh, design of a filter. So, in this class we have discussed about the high pass filter it uh, the its transfer function and simultaneously we have discussed about the frequency response of the high pass filter. And in the second order filter we have derived the transfer function uh, common transfer function of the filter 
and uh, we uh, later for in the further sessions we will derive the transfer function of the low pass filter as well as the second order high pass filter and we will design the low pass and the uh, uh, second uh, second order low pass and high pass filter also discuss the frequency response of the filter for different damping and the design of a second order filter for higher cutoff frequency fh 2000 hertz or 2 kilohertz since we have not discussed about the second order filter you can design a first order filter for the higher cutoff frequency 2000 hertz these are the references thank you